It's in small distilleries like this in the highlands of Scotland that they make the pure, pale, expensive malt whiskey for which there is nowadays such a worldwide thirst. This golden cargo is destined for Genoa, a 3,000 mile round trip across Europe on every type of highway. And it's Dick who'll get it there. Dick's an old hand in Europe. For him, this would be just another routine trip, but for one thing, the truck he's driving. The Leyland Marathon, one of the new Europeans, a new range of high power, high comfort, high durability trucks designed to tackle the toughest tasks in Europe. Down in Staffordshire, they're loading another of the new Europeans with another cherished British export, Wedgwood Pottery, headed for Norway. Frozen north or sweltering south, the Marathon's long development program ensures it'll cope with both. In Scotland, the man from the customs fixes a seal that will smooth the truck's way across the seven frontiers on its arduous route. Peter, another European veteran, is taking that tender load of crockery in a right-hand drive marathon with normal cab, just one of a range of eight basic models in the range of articulated and drawbar tractors, all developed for extended operation in heavy-duty haulage. His journey, too, will call for the total reliability and smooth high performance that are such vital factors in the export drive. For the Italian trip, Dick has a left-hand drive marathon with a spacious sleeper cab designed and furnished with great luxury for a two- or three-man crew. Marathon, a name that stands for strength and endurance over long distances. And that's what Leyland engineers aimed for, the production of a truck that would exceed European standards of performance and reliability, using as far as possible tried and proved components, combined with the most modern concepts in truck engineering. This philosophy has been followed throughout the marathon story. Dick nears the rendezvous with his regular co-driver, he thinks, but he's in for a bit of a shock. His usual mate's gone sick, so they scraped the bottom of the barrel and came up with Cyril. Not that there's anything wrong with Cyril. Professionally, he's okay. All the proper qualifications. It's his personality and attitudes that need working on. For a start, his only experience of Europe was a day trip to Ostend. And not being used to the Val de Nair, his memories are both obscure and jaundiced. For Cyril, wogs begin at Calais. British is best, and there's no place like home. It's your lucky day. I'm your relief driver. Cyril is a touch apprehensive about his first drive in the marathon. It's a bigger truck than he's used to, but there's a lot to put him at ease, like the steps and ample grab handles that let him climb into the cab without stretching, and the ergonomically designed seating adjustable to suit 98% of the male population, including Cyril. Off with the fingertip action parking brake, and a smooth getaway by courtesy of the big mechanically operated twin plate clutch and the deep starting ratio in the gearbox. No other truck has a bigger clutch area than the Marathon, and a light pedal load and an automatic clutch brake ensure fast, easy gear changes. You see, there is no need to be nervous, Cyril. Easy, isn't it? Welcome to Scunthorpe. Peter eases the right-hand drive truck through the town that manufactures the sort of high tensile steel that's used for the marathon chassis frame and the safety shell of the new cab. Through the windscreen of the high cab, Cyril finds the visibility quite remarkable, over 35 square feet of glass for safety and bird watching. Carriage docks and a ferry for Rotterdam, the normal environment for TIR vehicle like the Marathon, and a jumping off point for transcontinental operations that will move goods on British Leyland wheels across the face of Europe in increasing numbers.
When inches count, the marathon is precisely maneuverable. The integral power-assisted steering reduces steering loads to motor car standards and completely eliminates the maintenance problems of external rams and pivots. The moment of departure, a small step for mankind, but a big step for Cyril. Double egg and chips. Pardon? Double. I'll do it. Double egg and chips. Very good marge in England. Double. Never. Oh, 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 Yeah. And a pot of your bread and butter. Yeah. Told you I could speak French. Nothing like a life on the ocean wave to give you good appetite, eh? I said nothing like a life on the ocean wave to give you good appetite. Mm. La Mer gives you good appetite. On the northern trip, Peter arrives at Oslo and meets a bit of Britain homeward bound. Another of the European versions of the marathon. This one, a left-hand drive 4x2 tractor with sleeper cap. There are also right-hand drive 4x2 and 6x4 rigids for operation with drawbar trailers up to all European maximum weights and able to handle two 24-foot loads. Cyril's natural talent for sleeping is encouraged by the cab's low internal noise level and his fully reclining seat, even with 280 horsepower at 65 miles per hour. And he misses a frontier, Holland into Belgium. Besides optional radio, Marathon drivers have absolutely everything they could ever want for comfortable, safe and enjoyable driving. Instruments are mounted on the dash in a functional sequence with complementary failure warning indicators all in the driver's direct line of vision and with symbols that are internationally understood. A scientific human factors study has decided the placing of controls within comfortable reach of all sizes of driver with multifunction switches mounted within fingertip reach of the wheel. The small diameter wheel takes advantage of the standardization on power assistance and is tilted towards the driver to give the most sensitive control. Hot air for demist and defrost is channeled from a central duct across the full depth and width of the screen and from two side mounted ducts to effectively clear the side windows. Vernier controlled quarter lights can be turned through 90 degrees to act as air scoops. Adjustable eyeball vents on the face here provide fresh air at face level, supplemented by foot level air scoops to keep the crew cool in the hottest environment. Brush nylon panels get rid of that old sticky seat feeling. Seat suspension is standard, tuned to match the cab and vehicle springs to give a perfect ride. Storage space is generous. There's a box under the passenger seat and a lockable compartment on the dash panel. A fixture to hold vacuum flasks and small items is on the low engine cover, which doubles as a base for a third seat option. A hinged panel on the fascia gives instant access to fuses and all electrics. The cigar lighter come shaver socket will also boil a kettle or power a portable television, a logical fitting for the transcontinental driver. This living room luxury on wheels provides the last word in fully fitted comfort and convenience. Brussels? Where's Brussels? Brussels? Brussels, that is. Oh, why do they say so? The atomium and...